So today we're going to build our own amp kit, power kit with RCAs, we bought the RCAs, but we're going to put all the power components together ourselves. purchase them from a couple different places, better quality, in my opinion, cheaper than on the internet. So we're just going to go through this pile I have here and I'll probably do a cost breakdown later or I'll just overlay it now, I'm not sure yet. But anyways, we have $20 RCAs, these are 12 foots, roughly $20, got these at Andre's, decent price. We got some 16 gauge blue primary wire, lots of zip ties, tie wraps if you call them the right name. Got some heat shrink red for the positive because we have all black wire. And we got black for of course, guess what, negative. And we got some wire loom for under the hood, another wear level of protection. And then from Lordco we have all the uh, butt terminals. Or, yeah, <laughs> Yeah, well, it's whatever you want, different trade names for them. Then we got 125 amp slow blow fuse that fits in this. <laughs> you just can't handle the sexual endo endo words, can you? No, in this fuse holder. Just... And we got two grommets in case you're going, making your own hole in the firewall. And then the big one here we have, this is 40 feet of number two welding cable. I have a video on wire comparison between welding cable and car audio. There's advantages and disadvantages to both. You can check that one out. That was last week's vid. But yeah, and that's our whole kit. Easy as pie. I'll see. So we got the first one crimped and heat shrunk on. Uh, I did that off camera. You'll see one later. But I just did a quick like physical measurement under the hood because we're doing this like for this specific vehicle. So I got these, there's better tools, different tools for it, but it's like an exacto style blade. But anyways, you can just cut the length you need. Now to strip this stuff, you can use a knife, but I like, these aren't horrible, but try and not hit any of the strands or, or uh, cut them. Just go around a couple times, see if you can rip it off without any copper coming. Ooh, nice, no copper came. Give it a twist up. There you go. So I got this set up kind of like the ghetto way of doing it, but I broke the cheap ass tool I bought for this. She broke it right off. And its dies won't, I can't, it's just not going to work, but you might see that in a different video. But basically I got this, got a bolt head in the vise piece. This is the, the ghetto way of doing it at home. Just tighten her down. Don't break your vice while you're doing this. And you're done. Got heat shrink on there. I know both ends of this little jumper is not red, but I have more black than red. It's one of those things. Can you please, uh, not? Oh. Thank you. So I got the, I got another terminal on here, or lug as some people would call it. And I'm going to put this together, show you how it's done. All this hardware comes in the, the fuse holder kit. And I guess I didn't grab the tool for this, but you just tighten these down until they're tight. And Bob's your uncle. Just to remind everybody, put the fuse in. Don't forget to do that. And then you put the hardware together. Now you tighten down. <sighs> Quick partway shot of this amp, amp kit install. Lot some stuff under the hood down here through the firewall. Run nicely in there. RCAs are coming up that side. Leaving a bit of a power loop here because I'm gonna be doing some different stuff in here in the future and I'm just it's oversized anyways. It's red. Ground whip. Could work for now. The amp we're running. 
back at you here while doing a little bit of editing. I knew I was going to have to fit, make this filler clip here at the end of the video. Uh, up in the corner, probably during this part, you'll probably be seeing a couple more, a little bit of B-roll on the install for the kit that we did in my friend's 2003 Hyundai Elantra. If I'm not mistaken, that's what the car is. So the amp kit, like I said, cheaper than the internet is one thing I said. And the amp kit I was comparing it to is this one on Amazon. That's on the monitor. I'm going to overlay a better shot of it too. Um, and if you do the math, so I think my notes say mine was 143.71. Of course, remember it was Canadian rubies where I live in Canada, not American right now, which would be much cheaper due to the dollar. Um, 143 bucks before my provincial taxes and and federal taxes. Taxes may vary. This is without taxes. And then the internet one, as you see, works out with shipping to 135 dollars. There's a couple things that I want to bring up. One, certain supplies that uh, purchased in list price, like for I put, I, for example, I put for the wire loom was ten dollars. That was for 25 feet. I did not use 25 feet in this install. And for the heat shrink I bought, didn't use all of that. Um, tie wraps, didn't use all of those. Examples like this, you end up with surplus, which doesn't really help if you're just doing your own, but it definitely helps me buying in bigger packages. So I just listed how I can buy it, more or less. So if I actually penny pinched and did the finer maths, it'd probably be about equal on most supplies. But anyways, yeah, I'll also have to realize, in my opinion, welding cable, much better cable than the Kuro Concept stuff. Second, um, it's bigger. I This is for uh, number two. That's a number four kit. It says oversized, but not really. Just, you know, it's bigger, more power. It, it's, it's what you can do. Um, that's all I really had to say, and uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about building your own amp kit or doing that or doing custom stuff like what I have in my Ford Explorer with like the double one out runs and the big three on the alternator and the high output alternator how you need to configure or how big of wire you need how far you're running of course a small like this car took 20 feet a, a single cab truck could take 10 feet if you do it right or a huge SUV could take 30 feet depending on where you're putting the amp and how you're running it so there's a lot of different factors like that that change the price of these which is one of the nice things because if you only need, know you need 10 feet in your little truck or something like that you can only buy 10 feet and you don't have this big leftover pile at the end of wasted money but thanks for watching uh, you have yourself a good day is it going? yeah hi I'm Jeff <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> don't fucking don't fuck your face, go, you cunt. Your face right there. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> go fuck. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, stop being a cunt. <laughs> Damn you. I'm good. As soon as I say any word in serious context, you're just gonna burst out laughing. And the first take of this is gonna be bullshit. <laughs> so we're gonna just try it anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm good now. I'm ready. So let's. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.